Hello, welcome back. Today, we're going to review another Squonking RDA that I have sort of mentioned uh, in my previous video on the best uh, Squonking Atomizers for Squonk Week. You can check my channel. I have a separate playlist for uh, Squonking related stuff. Uh, but today, I'm going to do a full review on that, which is the Firefly by Bomber Tech. The Firefly RDA by Bomber Tech. Let's take a look. <laughs> All right, guys. So here it is, the Firefly RDA by Bombatech. I've done a review before of an excellent RDTA, also by Bombatech, the Pindad SS uh, Drip Tank. Now this one is not an RDTA; it's just an RD RDA, and it's perhaps the lesser known one among the two. The packaging is pretty similar. It says Firefly right here, Squonk mode ready. At the back, you have the Bomber Tag logo and your scratch and check code. Now, this one was provided to me uh, by Bomber Tag themselves for the purposes of this review, but it would cost you about 50 bucks retail and you can go to bombertag.com to purchase the Firefly. Inside, you will find the Firefly RDA itself. Let's take a quick look at it. You'll also get these two short, super, super short 510 drip tips, bag of spares with O-rings, some grub screws, and a regular uh, copper sensor pin, as you can see here. So the Firefly RDA, let me give you some quick specs, right? The construction is 304 uh, stainless steel. It's 22 millimeters in diameter. It has two millimeter post holes. And of course, it comes squonk ready with a squonking pin, as you can see here. But also you have a 510 pin in the, in the uh, spares kit. The top cap here is made of Altum, which is a super heat resistant uh, material and it uses peak insulators. So let me put it on my Squonk mod and show you how it works. First, let's take a look at the top cap itself. You have the Bomber Tech logo right here. And those uh, short, super short drip tips actually fit into this part right here. So this one can support a standard 510 drip tip. You can use other drip tips, of course, or you can just use it as it is like this. I think the super short drip tips included adds a really nice touch to the overall look of the Firefly RDA. You can see some cutouts here and that is for your airflow control, for your airflow control. So once you put it on to the base, you'll just have to adjust it until it, it fits or snaps into place and you can adjust your airflow by twisting the top cap. There is a stopper, so this is the maximum that you can go and you can control the airflow on this side and it will be the exact same on the other side as well. So taking a look at the build deck itself, um, this one is a little bit unique. Definitely the first time I see an RDA is designed like this. You have two posts right here and you can actually run your wire on top and clamp it down with the screws themselves or you can put it down right here if it's a flatter wire. But the position of it is actually a bit weird, right? So. I've tried actually running my wires through inside here and on the other side as well, but I think I just prefer to clamp it down with the screws. You'll be able to clamp down some pretty decent sized clatten wires uh, just using the screws themselves. Now the airflow is the other odd thing in the Firefly RDA. You can see the airflow slot right here. So the air actually comes in right on one side of the coil and on the other side of the coil instead of what we are normally used to which is uh, it should come out and hit the coil on this side and on the other side the air should come and hit the coils on this side now this is how the design is and i found that uh, you can get pretty good flavor from it i i don't know the airflow is just kind of weird but it works in some ways but again you need to maximize the build area that you have in here right so if you're going to put a 2.5 millimeter coil in the Firefly, I don't think it's going to fit that great. You really have to maximize the space and you see very large deep juice wells on both sides and you see this quark pin right here. So when you squawk into the Firefly RDA, the juice actually will fill up the uh, large juice well. And I really want to pack in as much cotton as possible because I have a clatten bill in here 
and I've always found that I really have to stuff my corn in for a uh, platinum bill to avoid uh, a lot of the spit back issues that I may get for my platinum wire. I'm going to cut the corn about this much and on the other side as well. Then just fluff up the corn a little bit and then just tuck in the cotton into the juice wells. Right, just about that much. I like to take up as much space as possible with my cotton because otherwise I found that there's just a bit too much space in uh, the bomber tag. It kind of mutes the flavor out a little bit. And before I do the other part right here, let me actually show you the squonking action, right? So once you have it on a squonk mod, it fits in really nicely and I don't get any leak from the 510 uh, area for the squonk pin for the firefly. I just want to show you how it actually squonks. So when you press the bottle, the juice actually gets into the juice wells, right? And pretty large juice wells at that. And I'm just going to tuck in the other side as well, the cotton, right? And now you can see I have the cotton taking up as much uh, space as possible uh, and leaving only the space for the airflow. As I said before, if I put too little cotton in here and, you know, push it to one side, I find that that actually mutes my flavor a bit in the Firefly R uh, RDA simply because of the way the airflow actually works on this one. And now I can squonk some more and you can't actually see the juice right now but it is getting into the juice wells as I showed you before and that's probably going to take a long time so I'm just going to saturate it from the top. And the bill I have in here is reading at 0.72 ohms. At about 32 watts as I said again it's the first time first RDA I've worked with that the airflow is just kind of a bit I don't know a bit funky it works but it just feels a bit different and you can adjust the airflow like this Right, so it's going to it's going to give you a restricted vape at about this much airflow. If you close off the airflow completely, you can still get air going to your coils. Right now, let me show you how that works. So it's completely closed the airflow. So you can still get some air going to uh, your coils, uh, even when it's completely shut off like this. I like to vape it at about half open airflow on both sides so the firefly by bomber tech what do i think about it hmm in my previous review of another product by bomber tech uh, the pin that SS drip tank, I get, I get that two thumbs up. It was a really good uh, squonking atomizer. This one is good as well. Well, let me give you the pros and cons. The build quality is definitely very, very good, uh, and the price is is great as well for about fifty bucks for the Firefly RDA. Those are some of my pros and some of the cons. I think the airflow here. I don't know, man. I mean. It is a bit weird, as I showed you before in the close-ups, right? The airflow, the way it comes at an angle, probably there is um, a certain way to do a build on this. Maybe the coils are not supposed to be like that. Maybe it's supposed to be at an angle or something like that. But looking at the pose, it's just a bit funky for me, the, the way the pose are designed and uh, the way the airflow comes out, not directly hitting the coils, but by the side of the coils you know what at an angle it's just a bit funky to me uh but the flavor is pretty good i it's one of those things it's a mystery to me i'm quite used to airflow hitting the coils straight not at you know an angle like that so the flavor is good i don't know how what's happening inside probably the air is circling the coil you know what i mean so the coil is like that and the air just circles the coil something like that uh, but you can feel the difference in the airflow. You can feel it is a bit different. And wide open, half open. Uh, 
The flavor is there, but not the best flavor that I have. Another pro that I forgot to mention is I, I like the, the look of it. The look of it with that little short uh, 510 drip tip on top. Uh, two different colors provided. So it's, there's the value for money is, is there for the Firefly uh, by Bombatech. The design is, is good. The airflow, everything, it works. But of course, the slightly funky airflow. Like I said, if, if you are a Firefly uh, RDA expert and you've done many different builds on this, do suggest something. Uh, what is your favorite build? Probably there is one or two builds in here that you can put in here that will really maximize the Firefly. I don't think the build that I have in here actually maximizes it because I, I do feel that the flavor could be a little bit more intense with an RDA this size. I've tried lots of RDAs this size. I feel that like the flavor could be a little bit more intense. So probably, I don't know, larger coils or coils at a, at a different angle, something like that. Um, again, this is an RDA rebuildable. So I will review based on what I can put in here based on the skills that I have. So some cons with it, of course, is the airflow. Um, I, I really don't know if I should put it as a pro or a con. Like I said, probably I'm not doing it right. But I'll mention it as a con because I would prefer a more traditional kind of airflow that hits the coil straight. I think the flavor, the, the, um, the, the condensed vapor that I get from that kind of airflow is actually a little bit better than this one. And another con is that uh, you actually have condensation all over the RDA because the condensation is actually on the top cap itself, right? So you will find a little bit of juice all the way uh, at the bottom of the base right there, right? If you can see. Uh, not a big deal. It's not like it's going to leak that much. But you will find that you will have to get a paper towel and actually wipe it off after a while. So my final thoughts on the Firefly RDA by Bombatech. I think it is a very unique RDA. I cannot quite put my finger on it. Is it thumbs up or thumbs down? I have to say thumbs up overall. Uh, but then again, it is a bit weird in terms of the airflow and how it actually works and how to put your coil or your bill on here. And another thing about the Firefly is that on the on the Bombertech website, there are absolutely no additional accessories for the Firefly. If you look at the pin that, the pin that SS drip tank on the Bombertech website, there's so many different accessories. There's an Altum kit, uh, there is uh, different colored shaft caps, Teflon shaft caps. For the Firefly, it's basically just what you get in the Firefly. There are no additional accessories from Bombertech. Um, maybe they are working on some stuff and by the time you're watching this, there are probably some accessories available on their website. I would definitely like to see more accessories uh, for the Firefly. Why I say that is because the Altum top cap, I, I don't mind it, but honestly, I'm getting tired of Altum because everyone seems to be having Altum. Everyone seems to be having Altum. And the problem with Altum is that it's just that one color and that basically the color that you see here for the Altum. So not everyone is going to like Altum. It would be good if there was a, let's say a clear cap for this or a black color cap uh, or even some other colored caps for the Firefly just in case you know someone is put off by the Altum. They may want to get the Firefly but the oh, Altum or oh, I don't want Altum. So at least it's some other colored caps for them to buy at the moment. No such thing on the Bombertech website but you can always check at bombertech.com to see if they have other different caps or accessories for the Firefly RDA. I know this this reviews, you know, it may be a bit confusing to you. I am a bit confused actually <laughs> with, the, with the Firefly RDA. I would like to say that it's very, very good. The build quality is very good, but it's just, it's, it's just weird. It's just weird, weird. I don't know. It's still good. It's still good. I think it could have been great, but you know, you have to give it some points for being unique. <laughs> I said it's, it's a, it's a very confusing review because I'm really confused with the Firefly RDA. Anyway, that's all for my review. And remember, if you like my videos, do click on the subscribe button and do click on the alert, the bell icon there to get notifications of my latest videos. Thank you very much for watching. Walkie dokie, no more smokey. <laughs> Wow, 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 wow,